Hello everybody, I'm your brother Nine, and welcome back to Sonic Adventure DX. In the last episode, we did some stuff with Gamma. We saved Amy, then we came down here, and we went through a stage, and we took out, I think it was Delta. I still don't remember, because I haven't actually gone back through the episodes and edited yet. So you guys know if it was Delta or not, but I don't. And in this episode, we're going to be heading over to the Angel Island area of the mystic ruins to go find ourselves a stage because we need to save our friends we need to explode more of them for some reason that's that's how we save our friends we just explode them in all sorts of different ways we can't go to the ice cap because well we don't have the ice key and there's nowhere for us to find the ice key so instead we're going to be heading over to the really really you can't you can't get over that tiny little bump right there. Just kind of lift your little feetsies up over it. Okay, fine, whatever. Don't even care anyways. We're gonna head over here to Red Mountain because we can. Actually, you know what? I'm kind of a little bit curious. I want to see where the Master Emerald is in current states. It looks like it's completed over there, which, hmm, maybe, oh, you know what? Oh, goodness, I almost fell right there because for some reason the grass was too high or something. I don't know. It looks like it's almost complete. It is complete. Is it? Oh no, all right. So there's just that little chunk missing right now. So what's his face is gonna be looking for him. Oh, you know what? Knuckles. Oh, all right, so Knuckles, yeah, Knuckles is, yeah, that's his name by the way. Knuckles, oh, this is totally all wrong. I see what's wrong with the cutscene. If you remember back in Knuckles' story when he completed that right there, after he completed that little part of the Master Emerald and it, the ship it, the Master Emerald showed the egg carrier and was like, Hey, Knuckles, go here. This is where the last of the Master Emerald pieces. And then E-102 Gamma hopped down from up above this mountain as soon as that happened. And Knuckles saw him and was like, Oh, I should totally follow Gamma to the egg carrier because he will show me. That's one of Eggman's robots. But whatever. Cutscenes are all wrong. Let's go to this stage here. This is the Red Mountain stage. This stage is pretty much the same as any of his other stages. We need to find E-104... Oh, I don't even know what letter that was, what Greek symbol that one was. I definitely can't remember. And I only remember... I only remember Gamma, Beta, Delta... There's also Alpha, but I, I don't think that was Alpha. You know, honestly, it can't... It wasn't Alpha, was it? I don't even remember what the symbol looked like anymore. I, I, I already forgot. I have a very short memory span sometimes when it comes to things but whatever we're we're not gonna worry about that for now we're just gonna head over through this stage blowing everything up it's really just like any of his other stages just press b all the time i guess i guess it's cool that we see these cowboys again these cowboy cutouts i like that that i always that's always good to see those nice cowboys oh you know what i know there's something i want to talk about one thing i have yet to mention which is uh atrocity that's the word right Atrocity? Monstrosity? Not not monstrosity. It is horrible that I've yet to mention this because it's awesome. Be, what I, I don't even know what, I, what I'm trying to say here is that Gamma's story has one of the best songs in the entire game, and that's his theme. His theme is so cool, and I love it, and it's one of the best things about this entire game. It's not my favorite theme, which I'm pretty sure, as I mentioned earlier, is... Uh, Amy's theme because I think Amy's theme is just hilarious and I love it in any kind of story sequence whatsoever I just think it's awesome but Gamma's theme is definitely super awesome as well and it's it's definitely the best sounding one I just like Amy's theme because of how ridiculous it is and how ridiculous Amy is as a character which is why I love Amy but now we have our boss fight against E104E I don't know. Oh, was that Sigma? That might be Sigma. I think that's Sigma. You will you will see on screen right now what it is because I honestly can't remember. He's just like the last one was, E103. Super easy. Just kind of get up to him and you can spam the button, the B button, and you'll take him out super easy, just like last time. So now we've taken two out of, really, really, Animal, get out of the screen. We've taken two out of three, or four, three, four? I think it's four. I think I think we can consider Beta as one of them, too. We've taken out two out of four of our friends. We've destroyed them, exploded them. We've saved them somehow. And look how close we are to 100 emeralds. Emeralds? Emblems. I, I say that a lot. 
103 Delta, E-104 Epsilon, rescue mission accomplished. E-105 Zeta, E-101 Beta, location unknown. Perhaps aboard the egg carrier. Epsilon! Delta! That's what it was! So I was right about Delta, but I was wrong about the last one that we fought, E-104. It wasn't Sigma. I, can, I don't remember what Sigma looks like. I don't know, it's been too long since I've taken math stuff. But there was... Thank you for telling me who they were, Gamma, I appreciate that. So it was Epsilon, who we just took out, and then the last one we need to take out, or I guess there's two more, but the last one that we didn't know the name of, is E-105 Zeta. Thank you very much, Gamma. And as I was talking about before we went into that level, this is the part where we would drop down from up here on Red Mountain and Knuckles would be like, oh, there's there's Gamma. He's going to lead me to the egg carrier. But if you also remember in that cutscene, it was actually daytime when that happened, not nighttime. So, man, all sorts of, um, not plot holes. What's the in inconsistencies? Man, there's definitely a word there that I am I am blanking on, but things are wrong in this storyline, and this game does not have the polish that it should. But that's okay, we'll we'll forgive it. So we need to get back to the egg carrier, and it's kind of hard for us to fly, but there's is a way that we know how to get back there, and hopefully it's going to work out for us because I'm pretty sure the egg carrier is now in the ocean. Yes, it is. Cool. So we can head to the egg carrier from over here. And another thing that's wrong with the story is that that's not actually how we got to the egg carrier. If you remember, Knuckles followed us through the Mystic Ruins forest to that tower. And that's how Knuckles had fought, that's where he followed Gamma to, but that's not just what happened right there. So, things are wrong all over the place, but whatever. We need to go to the hot shelter so we can help out Epsilon and Beta. Um, excuse me, thank you. It looks like uh, Gamma just said that he unlocked it or something. Apparently he has the ability to do that, which is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. So let's head over there, I think we can, yeah, we can just come in right over here. Come down this way. And we can head into the hot shelter, but first, I want to come over here, check out this area. If you remember before, we kind of came in here before. The reservoir, wastewater to be drained is stored in here. There was a lot of water in here last time we came in here, but it's actually been drained now and we can get ourselves an upgrade. Here's your laser blaster. Its blast damages enemies in a wide pattern. So the laser blaster blasts denim and denimies. It blasts denimies in an in, in range pattern. It's man words. What are they? It's I don't even really know what this upgrade really does. It makes our it makes some when we lock on enemies it's blue, but I think it makes it so that when we hit enemies it kind of blasts, it explodes them and it hits more enemies or something. I don't even know what this does because it, it's not like super helpful or whatever. But we have our last stage. Yes, this is the last stage. We have to go destroy E-105 Zeta. Thank you very much, Gamma, for helping me out with that name so I don't have to look like a fool on the internet, which I'm pretty much already done. Ooh, ooh, you know what? Let's let's hover ourselves down here and grab... Oh, look at look at all this stuff that we got from doing that. This stage is actually the only stage in Gamma's entire storyline that I actually find a little bit difficult. Not because of enemies, because, I mean, come on, they're enemies, they're super easy to take out, all you gotta do is press B. But because it's actually really hard to get to keep your time up in this stage. Okay, it's not really hard, but it's harder than the other stages, because it's a, it's a pretty long stage. There's a lot of stuff that you have to do, and you just have to keep going. But remember to hit as many enemies as you can 
to keep your timer stand up. I don't know why that's a thing. I'm guessing it's they're just trying to say, like, Gamma can only be working for so long or something. I don't know why that's part of the stage, but we, uh, whatever. Hit as many enemies as you can. Just keep mashing B throughout the entire stage, and you should be good for the most part. It's really easy to grab a bunch of rings in this stage because rings are plentiful everywhere. I don't think there's anything up there, so I'm not going to even worry about it. I'm just going to speed through as much as I can because I really don't want to lose on this stage. But I guess there is one thing that I can say about that. If it does happen, we will see... Um, hello? What just happened there? Speed pads, can you work correctly for me? Thank you very much. Uh, there's one thing I was going to say about the enemies. Oh, yeah. If you do end up losing because of timed things, don't worry too much because... When you die and you come back, oh, 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 come on! When you die and come back, it um, when you you it gives you an extra minute like compared to where you were at the time. So like right now, if I were to die and it send me back to that that checkpoint right there, it'd give me an extra minute compared to what what I was at the time of the of me hitting that checkpoint. Oh, come on! We've got this little mechanic here where we have to hit, hit these buttons and they get grabbed by the claw game over here, but it m kept missing me. It's alright, I got it this time. We're good, we're good. Oh, I should have been hitting those enemies right there. Alright, well now we have a new part of this stage, which is pretty much the best part of this stage. We're racing along- oh, don't forget to hit this. We're racing along on a fancy uh, train here, and there's another one that we can jump to on the side. I'm gonna try and get on it. Oh, yes! Yeah! Try to try to get on this one as soon as you can because it tries it goes forward a lot more than any of the other ones. See how we're going forward now? And then if you can, hit the enemies while you're going because you definitely need to keep your, your uh, timer up because you can see we're actually getting a little down there on the timer now. So that's not good. I hope I, hope I have enough time to get through. I'm gonna come up here and keep jumping across this because oh it's gonna go forward now all right oh it only went forward like two two spaces what was that come on oh oh we're almost at the end of it though that's that's all right we're doing good oh oh what just uh did it work it worked all right <laughs> whatever i don't even care hit this checkpoint jump over these things i'm pretty sure we're close to the end of the stage if i'm not mistaken yes yes we're just falling I mean, that's alright, I'm okay with falling, uh, until I run into a bunch of- Oh, that was so lame. Oh, now there's a bunch of enemies here! Holy crap, that's not good. And I'm running really low on time. This is- this is not all good in any way whatsoever. I only have 20 seconds left, let's see if I can- Oh, hey, look at this! E-105 Zeta. Uh, how hard is it to take him out? Because we only got 16 seconds, so- you're spinning around him on this, and you can see that you can walk on to the middle of him. He's got a bunch of cannons in the middle, and if you want to, what you want to do is you want to blow up all the cannons. We only have a couple seconds left. Oh, come on, get that last cannon! Did I get them all? I, oh, I got them all with one second and 70 milliseconds left. Look at that. The timing, though, that's what I'm talking about. That last second win. Ooh, that was good stuff. That was really good. We took out Zeta, we'll, we explode as good because, yeah, we finished in a tiny little time, but we also took out Zeta, which is what we were trying to do. Now we only have one left. Oh, and we got 100 emblems! Sonic Labyrinth was added to the list. We only have 30 more emblems until we're finished with this game. Wow. That's... That's something, that's for sure. Alright, well now we gotta go find Beta. I uh, don't really know where he is. I well, guess we could just hop on here. Hopefully we'll find him. E-105 Zeta rescue complete. Units remaining. Gamma.
Beta. Oh, we see him! Off in the distance! We gotta go chase him down, he's the last one left. He's the last friend that we need to... Okay. E101 Mark II. Not Beta, just E101 II. If you try to shoot him, he, uh, he kind of reflects it, but then he does this little charge attack, which after he does that, then you can hit him, which I failed to do. Oh, here we go. Now he's going to do it. So after he does this charge attack, you want to try and hit him, because if you try to hit him any other time, he's just going to super speed away from it, or he's just going to smack it away like the boss that he is. This is the first time we have an actual fight that is actually hard. I mean, it's possible. Oh, okay, it's not like hard, but it's not just spam B and you'll win. You have to at least wait a little bit before you spam B. And it could be a little bit difficult to get hit by things. Oh, then he's going to do this attack, which is new. It's pretty cool. He's going to send a giant little... Or giant... A giant little thing. Yeah, way to make an oxymoron right there. Whatever. We got we got another hit. Oh, it looks like we have one more hit, maybe. I don't... Have a camera, would you like to lock onto him, maybe? Yeah, there we go. All right. All right, we're good. We're in this. Oh, he's going to do this attack again. Just keep running as fast as you can, and you should be good. Or I guess, it's, it's, is it running? It's not really running, is it? It's more like rolling. That's what we're doing, we're rolling. Oh, that one was super big. That was probably like his last, last bet right there. Last chance. Oh, here we go. One more hit till we're finished. Yeah, there we go. Finished him off. That was pretty easy. Harder than the other ones because he didn't just spam B the whole time, but it was still pretty easy. Well, we did it! We finished off Gamma's story. That's it. That was the final boss. It was it was a good way to end things off. Well, that's it. That was Gamma's story. It's probably the story with the most actual story put into it. There's a lot more cutscenes in that one. I like the end because we finally see, or I guess not finally see, but we see how the birds kind of like popped up out of the two uh, robots, Gamma and Beta, so that's cool. It kind of wraps up Amy's part of the story real nice. And well, uh, that's it. That was all of these stories, and so far, so far, you'll see, you'll see. We still have a lot of stuff to do. We have 30 emblems to get, I guess, or I guess 29, because we're about to get another emblem after this one. In the next episode, we're going to be taking on, oh, the hardest trials in the game, 
And those are Big's trials. We're also going to throw uh, Gamma's trials in with those. Those aren't as bad. They're still they're still still decently hard, but not nearly as bad as Big's. So that's going to be interesting. Then after that, we head on to mission mode. Mission mode. Oh man. Or actually, hmm. We might head to Chow after that. I'll decide on that. I'll decide on that in a second on my own. It's either going to be... So next episode, you don't have to worry about anything. You know what's going to happen. Next episode, it's going to be some trials in the next episode. So that's what you can look for. And then you'll find out what's after that in that episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed this story. This is actually one of my favorite stories of the six. I think it's, I think it's a good one, even though it's super, super easy. And if you did enjoy this episode, please click that like button. Remember, you can always click subscribe if you want to stay updated on what's coming out. And I hope I'll see you in the next episode. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.